Tonight we are at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and we are having dinner at Boma. And if you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. If you did not know, Boma and pretty much every other buffet on Disney property has been closed for quite some time. And Boma just reopened and we are super excited to come and check it out tonight. This has always been one of our favorite dinner buffets on property. So we're excited to finally be back checking it out again. And we already went up and looked at the buffet and let me tell you, it does not look like it has even changed. It is just as amazing as I remember. I got some pics of the dessert before they were even touched, which is like always one of my favorite things about being some of the first people in the restaurant is seeing the untouched buffet. But uh, just some things to keep in mind while you are here. There are hand sanitizing stations all over the place. The bathroom is also very close by. So if you want to wash your hands with soap and water as well. Um, and they just request that you keep your mask on when you do go up to the buffet and you are getting your food. Um, otherwise, when you're sitting down at your table you can just enjoy all right so we are making our way back to the buffet we are starting what you could say is at the beginning so we've got olive oil okay. herb crusted potatoes which is, is that, that I guess there's some salmon up there oh these look good spiced pork spiced pork ribs with uh, tamarind honey barbecue sauce mm, yeah. yummy. oh here's Taylor's favorite this is the carving station. Heck yes. It looks like right now they've got an African carved strip line. Oh my gosh, look at the color on that back there. Thank you. And if you want these done more, can you get them like cooked more yes, too? Oh, that's awesome. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. I get some chicken. We've got a uh, yeah, roasted chicken. Getting all the meats right now. And then we've got like a, almost like a quiche, I feel like over here. This is like the, kind of like the kids little area well, with yeah, the chicken Taylor tenders, some of that. mac and cheese. We've got pasta, meatballs, corns, peas, and carrots in here. Peanut rice with coconut. Oh, I want to come back for that. Peanut rice sounds really good. Taylor's getting some soup. Okay. Oh, this is one thing that I miss. The chicken corn chowder the is chicken... like the best thing ever. So this is the chicken corn chowder. It's amazing. But also, the um, butternut squash soup, which is this one right here, is also very, very good. Yummy. Looks good. Herrera. Avocado, papaya, and grapefruit salad. Smaller portions, but looks pretty good. I might get one of those. And then we've got more of like the salad bar-ish area here. We've got some fruit here. Oh, and then we've got the desserts, but I'm gonna skip this part. I'm gonna go put the camera down. No, hold on a second. We gotta show. What? What do we have to show? Picture while it's fresh. What's that? The bread pudding. Oh, the banana bread pudding. <laughs> The bread pudding here is always awesome. And another thing people come here for? The worst, most <gasps> disgusting desserts ever. Dun dun dun! Zebra domes! People will love these things. People but I, I personally, I personally am not a fan, but all right, I'm gonna go get food. For dinner tonight, I went with the African Rum Runner here. And it smells fantastic, boys. This is a refreshing combination of star African rum, blackberry brandy, banana liqueur, with orange and pineapple juices, $14. It's quite good. Um, I really love the mix of like the orange and the pineapple juice in there. And then the banana just kind of mellows out a little bit of that citrus. And uh, it's very good. I will say though, that this will be a more um, I will say this will be a slightly more professional dining review for you all tonight. All right, so we've got our first plates and I'm notorious for just filling my plate more than it needs to be. Taylor's got hers. Let's uh, dive in. Oh wait, Matt's here too. I'm back. Remember Matt from the, the oh. other video. <laughs> Thinking about the food here at Boma, what I really love about this buffet, when you compare all the other buffets across property, uh, is the fact that you have very, very unique spices, 
and offerings here that you can't get anywhere else, right? Most of the other buffets on property are gonna be your standard kind of American fare. They might mix in a few kind of crazy things here and there, but really here, this is probably one of the most adventurous buffets that you're gonna find on property. And I really enjoy that. I think this is a great place that you should come and try it and try something different that you might not have uh, ever decided to try before. You know, I, uh, a really good thing that a lady and I were talking about up in the mine was that a goal should be that you only get something that you can't make at home. And I think it's a really great way to kind of think about it whenever you go up for something like this. Get something that you can't make at home or, or you wouldn't even know where to start. So really uh, fantastic and great offerings up there. I think something that I always really enjoy is the chicken curry soup, right? The, or corn, corn sorry, is the chicken corn chowder. Fantastic, served warm. Um, you know, it's uh, it's soupy. It's not like super thick, but it's not really runny. It's got like this nice Goldilocks kind of soup to it. And uh, boy, what else? I know, right? The peanut. So the peanut butter rice that was up there, I was taken aback uh, for a second because it has a very strong peanut butter taste to start with. But after you get past that first bite, it's actually very good. Um, almost has this nice um like savoriness to the rice uh, and i think that that's really coming from the peanut butter so it's very good and uh the rum runner cocktail fantastic some of my favorite things up on the buffet have to include the carving station that's always one of my like first go-to things at any buffet here it was the African sirloin and it was cooked a perfect medium rare. I also love the soups here, that chicken corn chowder. I was dreaming about it since Josh told me we were coming here to eat and I was like, if they don't have it, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is one of my favorite things here. I've actually been contemplating getting another small bowl alongside my dessert <laughs> because that's something I always tend to do is get something extra savory to go along my desserts. I remember specifically when we see the Cape May Cafe, I'd always get pizza with my dessert. But I am excited to go up and get some desserts. But before we do that, something our server actually brought over to our table, which I think is really awesome, um, is the allergen guide. Uh, she said that, you know, the chef will actually go up with guests with allergies and go over everything that they can or cannot have up at the buffet. But they also give you this so that whenever you do go up by yourself that you can kind of pick and choose what you can and can't have. Um, but it's really nice for us to be able to see too because this is actually the full menu and tells you every single thing that is up there. So we were kind of able to see too like what exactly everything is, even though it does say it up there on the buffet. But um, very awesome that they have something like this. Uh, Disney has always been great with allergies and that's something that um, our family has always enjoyed. But you can also get some allergy friendly options upon request that are not actually even up on the buffet, which is really nice, especially when it comes to the desserts because there's always like nuts and that sort of thing or cross contamination in a dessert. So you can always get something a little special for yourself, but I'm ready to go get my desserts now. <laughs> All right, so Matt is leading the charge as we head back up to the buffet to get some desserts. I've been eyeing up these chocolate chip cookies up here. I hope they're good. Here is uh, one of the hand sanitizing stations, so if you want to get some hand sand before you go, you could definitely do that. I'm going to come back up because I'm not going to get my desserts right this second. So um, we've got the mini cupcakes. Look at it is. We've got uh, mini cupcakes back here. We've got uh, chocolate chip cookies. The banana bread is almost gone. We showed that earlier. And then uh, over here on the other side. All right, so we've got the uh, classic zebra domes over here. Um, they have a passion fruit mousse. I believe these are coffee tart. I'm not sure what those ones are. Is that the brownie? I think that one might be the brownie. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna get... And then we've got the, like, the pineapple upside down. I don't know if I like these, but I have to get one. Just for the sake of it. So here's my little PSA about buffets here in Disney. And that is this. Please don't form a line, all right? Uh, they'll actually tell you to just go up to any station and grab food. Obviously, like, don't grab the tongs out of somebody's hand. 
But like, for example, dessert area has two different stations. Well, they're two of the same stations, basically. Um, they have everything's the same. There's two different ones. Everybody's kind of forming a line for the first one. Just sneak up there, grab your stuff, and uh, get out of the way. And then hopefully everybody else will see that it's all the same. Um, and the same way with those, like the rest of the buffet up there, right? And the same thing with like the start of the buffet. Whenever you go up there, if there's a long line, and everybody's there to like kind of maybe grab stuff from the carving station, just kind of grab a plate and slide around them and start somewhere else. And that way you're not kind of sitting there waiting the whole time. And you can kind of go back when the line cuts down a little bit. So if you've never done a cruise before, that's how they do it on the cruise line. They tell you specifically, do not form a line. Probably so you're gonna cough on everybody. John. Of all the desserts, I had to get the hazelnut brownie, the I didn't get the passion fruit mousse. I knew I was going to like that. The Kenyan coffee tart, the zebra domes. I did not get a chocolate chip cookie. And I also skipped on the banana bread pudding. Um, I got to say, out of everything that was up there, I think there's something for everybody's palate. But for me, personally, I didn't really enjoy uh, most of those. I think they were just really, really sweet for me. I might go up and grab a chocolate chip cookie just before we leave and kind of sneak it out of the restaurant and take it upstairs to the lounge because we're going to go up there and have a couple of drinks afterwards. Um, but regardless, a lot of options for you to choose from and I think something for just about everybody. Out of all of the desserts up there, I tried the chocolate hazelnut brownie, the zebra dome, and I also had the coffee something? Kenyan coffee tart. That tart was so good. It was almost kind of like a mousse inside of like a chocolate tart shell. Uh, really rich, quite decadent, very good. I love a rich chocolate dessert. And plus it's small, so it didn't feel super overwhelming. Um, I like the desserts on buffets are like miniature because then you can try a bunch of different things. Um, the chocolate hazelnut brownie was probably my favorite out of the three. Um, it kind of tasted like a little chocolate cake almost. Um, I liked the little crunchy that was on the outside of it too. Very good. And the zebra dome, I know my family has always loved those, but I think they're almost like a too like butterscotchy or something for me. But I did really enjoy the two chocolate desserts. So we just finished eating downstairs at Boma here at mm -hmm. Disney's uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge. I was about to say <laughs> African Kingdom Lodge. I don't know why. <laughs> Boy, I haven't even had really that much to drink at all. Just just one drink just at the one Rummer, cocktail. which well, was fantastic. I had nothing, so. Right, and for oh. So, yeah, we wrapped up down there. Um, it was good. Like I said earlier, it's something that's different, and yeah. I think it's definitely worth trying if you are in and around the area, I suppose. Yes, and I'm really glad that they are finally bringing buffets back, and I will say, since we have been here before, that I felt like that quality in no shape or form was diminished it yeah. was exactly what i remember um the only thing that was literally different was that the potatoes weren't just a plain mashed potato they had oh, right. like something else in them um which they were really good so like i i'm glad to see that it's the full regular buffet that they had before and uh, just so glad to be eating a meal that we've always enjoyed <laughs> yeah and i would say too um, make sure that you have a reservation the restaurant yeah. did not look full, um, mm -hmm. and so I'm assuming there were probably a lot of reservations that are open, unless yeah. they are doing a reduced capacity still, but I, I'm not exactly sure. But We always recommend if you're going to eat on Disney property and there are reservations available for the restaurant, get them because you could be waiting a long time in standby yeah. to actually get to eat, if you even get in at all. And uh, just so that you guys know, uh, Boma here is $50 per person, mm -hmm. so it is more expensive uh, for yes. a dinner buffet. But again, I think it's unique and something different, so you should definitely Lots try it. Lots of options. So. Absolutely. Let us know if you have ever been to Boma at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge.